Hi everyone, this is HMRS video number 22 and you're most welcome for it. Today we want to know how we can teach ourselves to keyboard shortcuts in Excel and the same methods can also be used in different Microsoft applications. As you already know, keyboard shortcut can help you to save up to around 30% of your working time if you're using it frequently. If you're used to navigating your workbook or worksheet using keyboard shortcuts, you have a chance of saving up to 30% of your working time to do other things. Let's switch on to it and we see how we can teach ourselves keyboard shortcuts in Excel. Now, as you already know, you can go online and then you search for Excel keyboard shortcut and you will get a list of keyboard shortcuts that you can master and then you start using it in Excel. Or you can even search computer keyboard shortcut and you will get keyboard shortcuts that will also help you to do your work in Excel and other platforms. However, when you're already in Excel, there are actually ways you can also get to know Excel keyboard shortcut. And these methods also work in other applications like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and some of the Microsoft application. Now, when you're already in Excel and you're seeing the command, if you hover over to a certain command, you will see the keyboard shortcut. However, most of these commands doesn't have that keyboard shortcut inbuilt in them, but there are others that have it. So you hover over to it and you will see it. If I come to the Home tab, and in the font group and have over to this B, you can see this is for bolding and the keyboard shortcut is control B. And also this U having that underline is the underline command. And you can see also the keyboard shortcut is control U. Now, if I highlight this and then I go to home tab then I click on the B, you can see that the range of highlighted has been bolded. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. The same applies to if it's already highlighted and then you simply hover over, you can see the keyboard shortcut is control B. Then you simply do control B. You can see that it also got highlighted. So that's how you can also get to learn keyboard shortcuts in Excel by hovering over to commands. Even in the home tab, when you come to auto sum here, you can see that we also have old equals for the sum function. So if you come here, then you do equals to sum tab to select it. And then you highlight this range. When you hit shift tab, you can see that you get the sum of that salary. But also when you come and do old equals, enter, you also get the sum. So the old equals you saw when we hover over to auto sum, is also the keyboard shortcut for the sum function. And as per now, the sum function is the only function in Excel that is having a keyboard shortcut. So that is the second method. You can hover over to the command then you get to know the keyboard shortcut if that command is having an inbuilt keyboard shortcut. But there are actually a number of commands that doesn't have it. Like when I come to conditional formatting, you can see there's nothing. When you come to wrap text, you can see there's nothing. Most of the commands doesn't have that. The most important and the most used method to learn the keyboard shortcuts is learning the old key. Now, most of the time when you have been watching my videos, you have seen me using the old keyboard shortcut. Old AQ, old ASS, those things there, those are the keyboard shortcuts that I've just learned them by myself in Excel. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Now, when you hit the old key on your keyboard, you can see numbers is assigned to the tabs. File for F, H for Home, Insert for N, W for View. Now, when you want to go to a command which is in the Home tab, again, you need to hit H because H is associated with the home tab. It goes inside the home tab and it assigns letters now and numbers to the commands inside the home tab. Again, you need to hit the next letter, which is associated to your command, the one you want. Now, let me first hit escape, escape to go back. Recently, we learned about advanced filter in Excel and you saw me using old AQ a lot. Now, let's get to know how I got to know that keyboard shortcut. When I click anywhere, and hit the old key. Now, after hitting the old key, you removed your hand. Already I know that the advanced filter command or the advanced command is in the data tab. So after hitting the old, I come to the data tab. The letter that's associated to data is A. So I hit the A. And then again, inside the data tab, you can see advanced is here and having letter Q. So when you hit that, you can see that you can get the advanced filter dialog box. Now, if I'm to hit all those commands successfully, it can be something like this. Alt A Q. You can see how fast it can be. That one is just hitting the Alt key. You removed your hands. A key. You removed your hands. And then the Q key. 
to, for the advanced. So that's how you can do it. Almost all the commands, Excel always assigned letters to it like that. Yeah, that is it for this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you found this video interesting, give it a like and then you share it with your friends. Until next video, HM&S video number 23, and then we meet again. Thank you.